Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game, you know, on lunch right quick. So um, I wanted to take the time out to do a video and um, just want to talk about, you know, um, integrity and, you know what I'm saying, and respecting other people, respecting boundaries, and then it's, you know, having a responsibility as a content creator not to be what you call a, a, a view whore, where you will do anything for views. And I've always pride myself on not going that direction because, like I said, I could have had way more subscribers than what I had now if I decided to just do what people wanted me to do and compromise myself and come on here and say stuff that I really didn't mean just to get views. And, you you know, I wasn't going to do that. And I can say I'm glad that I did it the right way for the most part. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not perfect. I never said I was perfect. I make mistakes. I made mistakes and I regret the mistakes that I made. And I tried to own up for the mistakes that I made being a content creator. You know, sometimes I get it wrong. And if I get it wrong, I have no problem admitting that I got it wrong. So, you know, like I said, I try to pride myself on keeping it 100 or 99.9. .9. But um, anyway, um, I wanted to talk about something. And I just decided that I wasn't going to do that and go that direction to get a whole bunch of views and possibly gain extra uh, subscribers. But um, in case you guys don't know. For the most part, uh, unfortunately, rapper uh, Slim 400 lost his life. You know, um, you know, he was basically ambushed in Inglewood and basically he was, you know, gunned down. And um, I called some people because I have contacts in L.A. I'm cool with a lot of people and I kind of got the scoop what happened. And this person, he's from that area. And I'm not going to say his name, but, you know, he's from that area. He he knows a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? He used to be affiliated. And um, earlier this morning, I was sent the footage of exactly what happened with Slim 400. Basically, you know, the same type of footage that surfaced with what happened with Nipsey Hussle. And, you know, you think it to yourself, boy, if I'm one of the first people to post this, you know how many views I get and all this kind of stuff. And I was just like, I can't do that out of respect for, you know, um, Slim 400, his family, uh, Treetop Pop Rule, just just, you know, him being a, a black man that lost his life. I just couldn't do it. Couldn't bring myself to do it. And I was just like, well. I'm not even going to send this video to people I know, you know, at the end of the day, I just decided I'm just not going to post a video. I just don't want to. Now, if somebody else posted, then that's on them. I can't, pre pre you know, prevent them from posting it, but I'm not going to post it. So, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. And I wanted to say something else uh, for the people that may have got the pictures of Kobe Bryant, you know, his, his untimely, you know, his untimely death. And if you have received those pictures and found those pictures and got wind of them, please don't post those pictures. Please don't do that to Kobe Bryant and his family. Please don't do that to his wife. Please don't do that to his kids. Kobe Bryant deserves better. Please don't do that. And don't come on here talking about well i don't care because kobe bryant wasn't married to a, a, a black one shut the fuck up nobody ain't trying to hear that shut the fuck up with that shit okay that doesn't mean he deserves to have that did to him so please don't do that to his family that's all i'm asking anyway this your boy town biz i'm out